Hey everyone, it's your fellow Barbarian Shaman EverQuest content creator here with another video. Today I want to be talking about some of the progress I've made on Project Quorum up to this point. I'm currently level 30, so I've, in my opinion, I've made some pretty good progress. But I want to talk about an adventure I went on with Luminarch the Druid to get to the fire pot, Bind Spot. And also I want to talk about another adventure I had with a fellow necromancer named Tevin. Let's get started. First off, I want to thank you all for the support on the channel. I am pretty much at a thousand subscribers at this point, so I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who watches the videos and comments and likes and kind of just creating this awesome community on YouTube just around EverQuest. And it's also really cool to be a part of other YouTube channels and kind of just be a participant in this really cool medium of EverQuest YouTube content creation. So I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who watches this video. You're awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I'd say the bulk of my experience so far up to this point from level 24 up to level 30 has been hanging out in the Unrest Fireplace camp, just killing skeletons, killing ghouls, killing the festering hags, and just grouping with some really good players and really cool peeps. I've definitely been learning so much more about the Shaman class in these levels, especially after unlocking the Cannibalize spell line, and just getting more acquainted with buffing, which ones go to which players, and really utilizing regeneration for myself, and trying to balance out mana regeneration and keeping track of mana ticks, especially when doing Cannibalize, and it's definitely just a different dynamic from other classes where you don't really have to look at mana in that way. It's, it's like you have this mana rock spell that you have to consistently cast on yourself, sacrifice your health, and if there's another healer in the group, it's really nice because they're able to heal me up to full health and I can get my mana back really quick. But so far, I'm really enjoying the Shaman class in group play, especially with like slowing and doing DDs and dots. I practiced my dot and DD skill line on so many mobs. I was in the South Karana zone just kind of killing Aviax and practicing my damage over time spell lines, but it was insane how many casts it took to level up my Conjuration and Evocation to a level that would not let me fizzle for 30 times before casting a spell. But it felt very rewarding to get to a point where, okay, I can cast direct damage and dot spells now and I'm not fizzling, I'm not losing all my mana from one cast. So that's honestly been really fun and I feel like I'm very useful as a shaman, especially with the slows. Like I feel like I'm really enhancing the group and letting the tank have more opportunities to not lose as much health. I also unlocked the greater healing spell at level 29 which is basically a 300 hit point heal spell and that's also been huge. It does consume a lot of mana but Honestly, it's very efficient in comparison with the last heal spell I had, which only did 100 hit points. So overall, grouping in Unrest has been really, really fun, and I'm going to be moving on to Guck at this point. But next, I want to talk about a couple adventures I had. So I want to first talk about my little adventure I had with Luminarch the Druid. I want to give a big shout out to this dude. He's awesome. Um, I think he's a viewer of the content, so if you're watching the video, What's up, man? I appreciate all the help. I kind of ran into him in Greater Fey Dark. I was just kind of giving some low beasts some buffs um, and just happened to run into him like in the Crushbone entrance or something like that. He was giving away like split paw armor to, to low level players and, and stuff. So it's really cool of him to do that kind of stuff. And he offered to help me get bound in the fire pot spot. So if you're not aware, the fire pot area is this small little dome in the timorous deeps zone in kind of like the far southwest of the of the map it is a huge zone it's basically the ocean of tears of the kunark zone and in this area there's a torch that teleports you to pretty much every major city in everquest up to kunark and it is an amazing way of transporting anywhere you want. It's literally so nice. After being bound there, it literally changed the whole dynamic of how I play Project Quorum. 
especially how I can travel from anywhere I want and find places to level with incredible ease. So thank you Luminarch so much for helping me out. We started by, uh, he gave me a port to West Common Lands and we ran through the tunnel. And this footage here, we were trying to get to the raft that goes to Timmer's Deeps. And <laughs> we were trying to run to it, but it was right outside the the zone invisible wall, so we couldn't get to it. So we were just watching our our train pretty much leave the station, and we couldn't do anything about it. Let me in. Let me in. But luckily, there's like a translocator guy, so we were able to just hail him and literally instantly get zoned to the Timmer's Deep zone. And while we were in the zone, it was a lot of running, a lot of like just different islands and there was a couple ogres that were pissed off at me so shout out to the ogres they got nothing on me and yeah we had uh, invisibility levitation we were just running over the ocean like jesus and yeah it was it was pretty pretty sick honestly i never went to the fire pot location in everquest ever before so it was a very novel experience for me and it was cool to see like just a ton of other players chilling in there too so it makes sense because it's basically like a mini plane of knowledge in classic effort quest pretty much and then uh after that luminarch showed me the uh forest giant spot in the warslix woods uh zone in kunark and i just leveled there and soloed there and did a lot of practice on my shaman for a little bit that's where i uh ding level 30 on my live stream that i did the other day and anyone who checked out that live stream um i appreciate your participation and just hanging out and chat so thank you very much for watching that i'm planning on doing some more live streams primarily probably on youtube but i might do some on twitch as well so let me know if you want to watch some live streaming but anyways yeah thank you so much again luminarch for helping me out and getting bound in the fire pot spot and also showing me the uh the forest giant camp Thank you very much. Next, I want to give a huge shout out to Tevin, the level 55 necromancer from the guild Former Glory. He helped me out a ton the other day with obtaining the Mana Rock as well as the Mask of the Deceiver. These are legacy items. The Mana Rock is basically the equivalent of the Mana Stone. And on Project Quorum, you are able to get these legacy items for the rest of the server's life like they will never become expired or like unavailable to obtain in the world so a cool thing about the server is pretty much everyone gets the opportunity to get a legacy item if they want so in this case he helped me by going to lower guck and killing the evil eye which drops the evil eye stone bag which is a really good weight reduction bag as well as the mana rock which is the mana stone equivalent and basically what the mana rock does is when you click it, it gives you mana for health, which is the same thing that the cannibalize spell does. So this will let me get mana even more efficiently in between mana ticks. And also with that, Tevin said that if you use the mana rock, it actually can take CC off of you. So if you get rooted in a zone, let's say, you can click the mana rock and it'll cut the root right off. And I think that makes sense because if you get uh, direct damage, if you root a mob and you do a direct damage spell on it, the root will break. So it makes sense that it does the equivalent to you if you give yourself a direct damage uh, hit. So that's really cool to get out of like shitty situations if you're rooted or something. So thank you Tevin so much. Um, he also helped me find the sister camp in Ocean of Tears and... As well as uh, we killed the Oracle of Akanon, or I think it's Akanon, something like that. So I got the Robe of the Oracle, and I gave that to an Ixar Necromancer that I'm going to be leveling up. I also bought the Staff of the Dreaded Gaze as well, so I'm definitely looking to play a Necromancer on Project Quorum, as well as how I did on Project 1999, but with a twist of being an Ixar and, you know, being on a completely different server. So it was really nice to meet Tevin over a uh, Discord call. He's a really cool dude, and if you see him on the server, like, tell him hi or something. Like, I don't know, he's, he's a super cool dude, and I'm looking forward to grouping with him again. 
You can also see him on uh, Wreck-It Rogue or Destin, the other Barbarian Shaman content creator. He's definitely made a couple of cameo appearances on his channel as well. So yeah, thank you, Tevin, so much for helping me out. And I think I'm going to wrap up the video with just talking about those two big events, those adventures I had on Wise Runner, the Barbarian Shaman. So if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate if you liked the video. And I am, as I'm recording this video, I have 999 subscribers. So if anyone wanted to just hit the sub button, I'll get, I'll get a thousand. <laughs> that would be awesome. I set the goal to get a thousand this year in like January. So it was really cool to go from like 50, I've had like 52 subscribers for years to go to a thousand in a matter of months. Like I'm very, very grateful and very appreciative of everyone who watches these videos and interacts with the content. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. It's the start of September, the beginning of fall. There's a new energy in the wind. So go outside and enjoy the end of summer for what it is. It won't be here too much longer, unfortunately, but fall is a great season as well. Anyways, peace.